Hello guys and welcome to my updated video of um the ARC um download. I know I made one like about last year and a lot of you guys had like a lot of questions and um still couldn't get it to download or even play your game. So I'm just gonna show you like a quick um tutorial. It's gonna be faster than the, the last one I made. But you know this video should be more informative, you know. And let's hope ARC updated and changed a lot of things because we know last year was whack. So let's go ahead here and go to like sign up. Um, I already have an account. The process for you may be um, different. So when you go ahead here, like click sign up and then check your email for like any um, you know confirmation or you know, activation for um, for your registration. After that, um, you're gonna go ahead and you know sign in. Um, okay. The one thing I don't like about Arc is that it's um. It's a little tedious to just keep signing in every time you want to play one of your games. There's ways to disable that, but you know that's not what this video is about. I'm not going to show you how to disable it. If people request it enough, people have been requesting my inbox to show them how to do it, but if you request it enough, then I guess I'll, I'll make a video of it. Uh, let me go ahead and log in here. Um, I had this already on... Already installed. I just un uninstalled it for you guys to show you how to do it. Um, because people are like, "Yo, bro, how do you do this? Like, this is so confusing." Especially the new people. Like, I try to get on to play J Dynasty because that's the game I mainly play off of Arc. Um, I'm looking at Neverwinter since I got a new computer, the MSI GT72 Titan. I mean, not Titan. Um, <laughs> Dominator. I wish, but the Dominator. So it's um, it's helping. You know, it's helping me to explore. The horizon of new games, you know, so I could like basically play whatever game I want. But for now, I'm just gonna stick to J Dynasty. So yeah, um, so there's there's gonna be a button here, like right here. I don't know if you see it. It says install Arc, and this button, you know, speaks to itself. It just install Arc. So um, the system requirements are a given. So you must read this. If you don't have the system requirements and you're having issues, then maybe you should upgrade because the system requirements are always bare minimums, you know. So just install and if you're on a Linux machine you can't do this without wine so you might want to install wine 1.7 and then um, work from there because wine 1.7 I know works with art because I I did it um about a couple weeks ago the way to do it is just um set it to to you know Windows mode you know yada yada um, I'll make a video about that too if more people re request it I'm not gonna waste my time making a video people don't really care for it, you know um, okay so it already downloaded so so yeah, as you can tell, I already had one to do. So you're going to get this little pop-up. It's going to say, um, do you want the following program to make changes? And of course, you're going to say yes, because you want ARC. So yeah, it's um, initializing. Um, I don't know if you see it. It came to this window, the second window that I'm recording on. Um, this one. Well, that's not recording on. Alright, so let's go ahead and click English. You can choose whatever language you want. So after that, there's a little prompt that showed up, and then it's gonna say, you know, welcome to install Shield, and then just continue on. Um, I hate how it keeps coming over here. I don't like that at all. Alright, I accept terms of license. You know what? Let me change um. Cause there's a way to make my um to make basically the taskbar appear on both um windows. So uh, I'm gonna show taskbar on all windows. Okay, there you go. Um, okay, Firefox is open here. And for some reason, my arc is opened over here, which is strange. Um, so yeah, I'll probably make a video on how to fix that later. Um, so yeah, let's hit next. Um, then this one is going to pop up. Install arc to, um, you always want to install in your programs folder because that's the best way to find all your installations from, um, from arc. Like your games and stuff like that are all going to be located in the subfolder programs, um, program files. Okay, um, install. And it, it installed pretty quick, but you know, 
This is what it looks like after it finishes the install. You could choose to launch it, automatically launch ARC when Windows startup. Um, you might want to leave that open. You know, it's your preference. But me, I'm gonna remove it because you know I, I like my Windows to start up fast, and having ARC start up while your Windows is booting up is not a great idea because it also it adds to the to the startup time. So you, you don't want to do that for any of your um programs because that way you know when your Windows initially starts up and then you have everything loaded then you can now choose what programs you really will use for that day um, okay share computer system I don't do this because I like privacy um, I know it doesn't have anything to do with like but you know you're clicking share computer and system data that means whatever data is on your computer you know they could get it I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that so I'm gonna go ahead and click finish here and this shows up it's updating this just means updating like there's packages that needs to be updated you know for games you know the browser or whatever it is okay and here is where you sign in you could they added this now I, I don't know if you didn't see my last videos but in my last videos there was not a Facebook option but now you can legitly sign in with Facebook um, you just have to to authenticate you know once you click sign in it's gonna say okay you know make sure you're gonna you're gonna have to sign in through Facebook too and then now it's gonna be you know bind bounded so your arc and Facebook gonna be one thing um, you could create an account you know a new account I already signed up um, as you can see I already have an account so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just use that account to log in Okay, um, some stuff that's saying over here. Um, it's scanning for games on my computer. I already have games um, downloaded, so it should should I say Neverwinter um is really is really, it's it's cool. I like the way it is, but I'm really waiting for Blade and Soul. Now, if Ark gets Blade and Soul, I'll be, but you know, it's not. It's probably never gonna come to Ark, but yeah. So yeah, these are the games that I do have. Um, I don't know why it's shown on you. Warframe and Call of Duty. Um, so I'm just gonna um, import. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, I have J Dynasty already installed. So these are the games that are not part of Arc. So I guess what it looks for is games that are not really part of Arc, and you could choose to import it. Um. Oh, that's weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and import Warframe. So Arc has Warframe. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna search for it, see if it does have Warframe. Yeah, this is the way you search for games. You basically go here and you type the game that you want. I mean, I want to search Warframe and it doesn't have Warframe. So, why did it import it? I think that's your library. So, yeah, why did it import it? Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe it's just trying to be like a overall. I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, it's a non-art game, but it's imported it anyway. So these are the art games I do have. Never went to J Dynasty. So um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play um a little bit of Warframe here, just so you guys can see um. it off the art system. Um. I have to browse for the folder so like after you you import the game you actually have to find the game on your folder um I guess it found it for me because it's saying okay here so I'm gonna go ahead and click okay see what happens so, I don't know. Um, well yeah it did <laughs> well you guys can't see it but it did load up um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it over here real quick one second um, actually, it's making me go through a whole installation process. Um, I can't move this over, can I? That sucks. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and click I agree so I can bring it over. So you guys can see it. Um, 
<laughs> so since I um I chose to import it here, it's downloading all the updates for all six point six gigabytes of updates. So basically, it's re-downloading my game. So like. I guess it didn't find the folder. It didn't find the game at all. It was just creating its own. So when you guys install Arc, um, don't import games. Like if you got games through Steam or anything like that, I prefer to stay with um with that. Like keep your games all under one hub. You know what I mean? Like don't try to import them in between because like if you do this like like I did with Arc, I mean I'm not sure. Maybe you could you could just like found the folder yourself and it would have found it and everything would have been okay. But you know from what I can tell, it's it's not the case. Um, so yeah, just don't import games. Um, I don't recommend it. I mean, you can if you want to. Um, I rather have like whatever has is is on Steam stays on Steam. Whatever is on Arc stays on Arc. Whatever is on Extra stays on Extra. I don't know. But yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. You know, J Dynasty from here. You know. So let's see. Let's see how that would work. Please come to this window. And it's probably not gonna go to that window because it wants to be a whatever. <laughs> okay, so start. And I'll and I'll also show you some of the options on um, on arc within the game. So wow. Like, come on. Okay, this is J Dynasty starting up. I know like it looks all weird, but that's because I have the NVIDIA graphics card. I didn't set up this computer yet, so whatever you see is... So yeah, it has a little intro. You guys don't really care. It's not a J Dynasty video, so... I'm going to go ahead and just log in. Um, this is what Arc does. So usually you would have to log in yourself with um, J Dynasty, but um, this is not the case, you know? Now, when you have Arc, you know, installed, it just it logs you in automatically. So whatever game you have, if it has an in-game login, Arc goes through PWE. So whatever in-game login you put through Arc is what you're gonna get here. So don't think like you're gonna run, you know, um, J Dynasty through Arc and automatically log into another. I mean, try to log into another account. That's not how it works. You would have to go in, log in. Um, login normally automatically how it has it here. There's no setting to change that and then after that you, you would have to log out And then once you log out now you could choose another account to um, to log in through the end game I'm gonna show you in a minute But um, other than that if you want to innately Initially um log into the account that you want just put it in through arc and you don't have to worry about you know logging in and logging back out like here Just so you could you know use a different account. It doesn't make sense. I mean, I know some people probably use arc from social networking so they have their main account for that and they don't want to switch it to anything else I mean that's understandable especially if you're doing alt so um, yeah just hit cancel here and now you can log in properly you won't do it automatically and that's it for today um thank you for watching don't forget to um, subscribe like and comment and also tell me what you think about um, adding music overlay during tutorials I feel like it makes tutorials so much better and you know like easier to take in because um not having music is just kind of lame to me to be honest um but youtube doesn't allow that youtube wants you to basically have your own content throughout every video and you know you can't monetize your videos if you have like you know like music or anything like that from other people so um but yeah thank you for watching and have a good day and a sweet and sour gameplay